Savitri, page 357. All objects bear to her shapes of living cells, and she perceived a message from her kin in each awakening touch of outward things. Each was a symbol power, a vivid flash in the circuit of infinities half known. Nothing was alien or inanimate, nothing without its meaning or its call. For with a greater nature she was one, as from the soil sprang glory of branch and flower, as from the animal's life rose thinking man. A new epiphany appeared in her, a mind of light, a life of rhythmic force, a body instinct with hidden divinity, prepared an image of the coming God. And when the slow rhyme of the expanding years and the rich murmurous warm work of the days had honey-packed her sense and filled her limbs, accomplishing the moon orb of her grace. Self-guarded in the silence of her strength, her solitary greatness was not less. Nearer the Godhead to the surface pressed, a sun replacing childhood's nebula, sovereign in a blue and lonely sky. Upward it rose to grasp the human scene, the strong inhabitant turned to watch her field, a lovelier light assumed her spirit grow, and sweet and solemn grew her musing gaze. Celestial human deep warm slumberous fires woke in the long fringed glory of her eyes like altar burnings in a mysterious shrine. Out of those crystal windows gleamed a will that brought a large significance to life. Holding her forehead's candid stainless space, behind the student arch, a noble power of wisdom looked from light on transient things.